What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to another reaction. It's going to be a little bit of a different reaction this time. I've never reacted to anything related to a movie, like ever, on the channel. It's always been gaming. However, the fact that they are making a Mortal Kombat movie this year has me pumped. Like, I grew up with the old Mortal Kombat. The old Shang Tsung, your soul is mine. I remember that. I remember the crappiest line between Katana and freaking Sindel. She's like, mother, you're alive. Yes. And now you will die or, or something like that. Like Jethro. Yeah. I know it's been a while. Sure, right. But play that clip for me. I got you. Mother. You're alive. Too bad you will die. Side note, what I just did was something I haven't done in quite some time, actually. Uh, Jethro is essentially the editing personality. The person that says it was at that moment Misfit Bear knew he done fucked up. That's him. I did it when I first got into actually editing. Just being weird being funny, you know, putting something on the channel that is unique. That's all it was. So laugh, but don't laugh <laughs> because I'm pretty freaking weird and we all know it, but I'm not going to over talk this. I'm curious to see how things are going to look. If Shang Tsung's going to be in it, are they going to use the same person that they used back then? The same person that they used in Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath? Uh, let's find out. Without further ado, let's get right on into it. Seen a lot in your day? You could say I'm a regular John Cena. <laughs> what? You know of the bitch slap. Wait, what? <laughs> Hello, Mortal Kombat fans. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My hey. name is Chris. It is a busy day in the 3C household because I'm bringing y'all a ton of videos. That's a Not nice only room setup. Just go ahead and post my WandaVision breakdown of the first two episodes. Go ahead and check that out, guys. And later today, we are set to get a Willy's Wonderland trailer. You so know I'm going to give you a breakdown mm, of that. Not sure and what we that is, but we okay. We're going to get a Mortal Kombat trailer today, but it's okay. We got the next best thing, and we finally have our first look oh of the live-action Mortal Kombat movie right here, showing off the costumes oh, of some of our heroes so from the outer world coming together to fight in a tournament. I'm going to yes. definitely need you Mortal Kombat fans or just you movie fans in general to give me your opinions on what you think of these first look photos. Are you digging them? Are you happy with this style? Some people need to keep in mind that this is a lower budget look at Mortal Kombat. We it always was. Budget because that was the only way the studio would be willing to give it the full it rated well, R feel to give us the 90s had a certain sequences. look to so, although it. Although it doesn't but... look as high grade as some people would like, I still think this is a really great look. And yes, I know some of y'all are already going, Chris, but where are y'all fuck? Oh, right here, guys. I ain't gonna take these bad boys out of the box right here, okay? And they're signed? Got these bad boys signed. Look at that. Hey, Look at that. The nice. The first one we have here seems to be of Kung Lao. Okay. And I believe that's Liu Kang next I to I can him. dig it. I am it. a little rusty on my Mortal Kombat, but I'm gonna do my best. Looking at this photo yeah. here, I like the look of the costumes. It seems like they're I going do really too. faithful to what we've seen in the video yeah. game. So this has a nice look to these characters so far. There's some other costumes here that I'm much much more happier with hold on a second is that the same Liu Kang and Kung Lao from way back when I might be tripping or I might just be having a fit of nostalgia but that looks like the old the the original Liu Kang and Kung Lao if it is that would be awesome I mean in Mortal Kombat 11 the guy that played Shang Tsung in the old movies is the same person that did his voice and motion capture 20 some odd years later. So yeah, it's Along possible. With this, Entertainment Weekly, who has the first look exclusive on this Mortal nice. Kombat stuff. Also Rated R, fatalities, details, all that. that off Hell so yeah. These pictures. I think the next Hell photo yeah. is what's going to get people really stirring and happy about what we're finally going to see go down in this Mortal Kombat movie. And this right here is our first look of Scorpion, Scorpion and, and Sub-Zero Sub going at it right here. If you look at it from the top, that is Sub-Zero holding down Scorpion. And this yep. seems to be like we're 
we're going to be getting the origin story of the feud was between Qui Liang and Scorpion. Because right here in and, this article, uh, they mentioned that the first Hizashi? 10 minutes is pretty much a bloodbath. What we have written down here, it says, We did a bit of research, and the kuni is actually an ancient Japanese gardening tool. So one of the earliest shots in the movie is kuni blade being used as a gardening tool by Hanzo's wife. And that's what he's holding here in his hand, the thing that will eventually become his tool for, Get over here! Uh, yep, I'ma just pause it right there and just give y'all a little update so you know i i don't know if this is a spoiler but whatever so basically uh hanzo hizashi aka scorpion had a wife and a daughter uh kwai liang it's either kwai liang or bi han was the the older brother sub-zero i think it was b no it was bi han yeah it was bi han because Bihan killed Scorpion. Scorpion was brought back by uh, Quan Chi. And in the tournament, he killed Bihan. Bihan also went down to the Nether Realm. Quan Chi reanimated him as Noob Sabat. And then Kwai Liang, the, old, the younger brother, took up the mantle of Sub Zero after that. Furthermore, reading into it, it says the 10 minute opening sequence kicks off in feudal Japan long before these fighters wield supernatural abilities as Scorpion and Sub Zero, and it ends in a pretty nasty hand to hand combat between Hell the two. Yeah. So, the opening sequence of this movie, I think, is going to be phenomenal to watch go down to see that happening. Speaking of Sub Zero, we do get a look of Ooh. what he'll look like once he finally gets those supernatural abilities. Now, that giant M on his head is really kind of distracting. Again, it my is. Mortal Kombat's a little rusty Majin. right there, but that, that could just be with the design they chose. They're I definitely so. hiding some stuff here. You can kind of make out his mask behind all that. He's got the blue eyes, but I am liking the little icicle he's making right here. Yeah, Probably gonna the be icicle dagger. Combat. I think that looks pretty dope. It does Wish look we pretty cool. a full look of his suit, but again, if we go back to that first photo, you kind of get an idea of what his uniform will be looking yeah. like. Now, this next photo here might be confusing to some people, and I could be wrong on this, but from the article, they make it sound like this character is a person by the name of Cole. From what I understand, this is actually a brand new character being introduced oh. into the Mortal Kombat movie known as Cole Turner. In early Cole descriptions, Turner. he was described as a brand new character to MK. Cole is struggling and widowed boxer who cares more about his young daughter than anything. He is incredibly determined Respect. and refuses to quit in the face of fantastical adversity. Respect. I think the reason they're introducing this brand new character right here is because he'll kind of be our eye into this Mortal Mortal Kombat world explaining how there's people like Johnny okay. Cage who are celebrities but also fight in a tournament and people like Raiden who come down in gods with yeah. lightning powers he'll be our eyes to how does this all make sense how does it work together and I think that's why he's being introduced as a new character yeah still no word if he is the main character he'll be he'll basically be what Stryker was just the new guy you don't really know a whole lot about him <laughs> Because I still don't know a whole lot about Stryker. Actually, I thought that would be Liu Kang, but doesn't seem to be it from this description. Now, the next photo is probably my oh, favorite. Oh, freaking one of Steve my Harvey! Top five That's the meme! Mortal Kombat. And That's that right the meme! Here is Jack, Jack Briggs! And Major Jack's right here Jack's already Briggs. has them damn metal arms. Part of me was yeah. scared that for this movie, they were gonna go ahead and also give the origin of how he gets the metal arms, but maybe we're skipping that whole step and we're just jumping into a world where this guy has already got these cybernetic arms and he'll be fighting in this, in this tournament. Steve now, no one yet who this person is next to him that he's battling with, but I really am liking the effects on his arm. The CGI I do. work on it is pretty good. Like that I looks said, really still nice. low budget, so they're probably using their money in the correct spot without spending it on these huge celebrities, but instead going back to the visual effects and everything that we'll be seeing going down here. So... This is perfect, and it really does seem like Jax come to life. And you nice. can't have Jax without talking about his yep. partner, Sonya Blade. Blade. And one of Sonya Blade's main adversaries that she is fighting with Kano? in this photo right here is Kano. Now, Kano is known for some of these scars on his face, but this time around, it looks like they won't be giving him that much of an exaggerated look of a cyborg eye with him just kind of having oh. the glowing red eye, having a little bit of a Terminator effect. But this guy still seems real gruffle weather down okay and Sonya just kicking his butt right there i'm really hoping the dynamic between these characters comes off really good and it's not 
just cheesy because we've had enough cheesiness with that old Mortal Kombat movie, even though I have a soft spot for it since I saw it as a kid. But yeah. these first look photos, man. Yeah, some really great I'm stuff. Digging Other it. things that the director and people are involved with this movie are saying, they go as, as a joke, McQuaid told stunt coordinator Kyle Gardner to craft the best fight sequences ever done in a movie ever. Nice. In reality, these action pieces are some of the highest rated elements of the movie to come out of early test screenings. According to McQuaid and Tan, we need to be smart about how we go about the fights, the director's notes, and there are times you'll see when you see the movie when it's just F it, let's have some fun. Hell so it's really yeah. interesting that they point that out right there that in the test screenings for this Mortal Kombat movie, much of the praise was like, yo, them fight sequences yeah, the were combat, awesome, were the fun fight to scenes. watch, and that's just kind that's of what, what Mortal Kombat's Mortal Kombat all movies. about. As far as the lore and some stuff for Die Hard fans, they said here, there are some crazy fatalities, Tan confirmed. We've picked a couple of iconic ones. There are a lot of really cool signature moves that you'll see. A lot of Easter eggs that we snuck into the film, but there are some really badass fatalities that I can't wait to see on the big screen. I can't can't wait Brutal either. Man. They don't hold back. At the same time, McQuaid didn't want to get into NC-17 territory. He notes, it's amazing how quickly you can get there. It doesn't take much at least not for Mortal Kombat movie. So that right there is really it, man. I'm looking Yo, forward to this. I, I like am the first so look. ready. I like the details and everything. I cannot freaking wait. My mind is racing on what fatalities they're going to use. I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't know how far into the, the conflict between uh, Scorpion and Sub-Zero they're going to go, but I want to see... Sub Zero's canon death at the hands of Scorpion. I want to see him rip his spine out. <laughs> that has to be one of them because that is a classic fatality. It is a classic fatality. I know. I wonder who else is going to be in it. You know, I wonder if they're going to bring in Shao Kahn and who's going to play Shao Kahn if they bring in Shao Kahn. They really need to put the mountain back on the TV screen because that dude already comes equipped with everything you need to be Shao Kahn. All you got to do is just be a brick freaking wall and that's it. That's it. Oh man, I'm so ready, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did, why not leave the video a like? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let's talk some Mortal Kombat stuff down in the comments for all of my fellow fans. And if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of this mayhem. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.